Hello, it's Miss Heather, piano and voice teacher at Conservatory of the Ozarks, here with Kayla. It's Kayla's first lesson of 2018. I forgot what year it was. <laughs> so today we're going to do a video about vibrato and we're doing it. I have to in give, response. Yeah, in response to, to a, a comment. A friendly comment here. Friendly <laughs> comment. Um from Ron Robbins mm. and it's on this <laughs> it's on this video that I did with Tia a so, while ago. This is a special video for you. For Ron Robbins. Yes. Okay, so in this video, uh, Tia, she normally does Skype lessons and um, so we were kind of just taking a whack at vibrato for the first time ever. And um, I found that a lot of kids or adults if you just kind of describe the sound you want you describe like how vibrato sounds a lot of times they can just kind of find it on their own if they just think about it a little bit um that didn't happen for Tia and it doesn't for everybody but I always think it's worth a try just doing it that way first because it's the easiest way um and so that's kind of where I was coming from with that video but um Ron Robbins the said, hail? it's hailing outside, I think. Oh no, it is. Yeah, the weather's really oh, bad tonight. Yeah. I, you're my last person because everybody else canceled. Oh. So I'm so glad you're well, here. Well, we were about to, but we had a taco I was Bell afraid incident. you were going to My cancel. mom choked on a taco. <laughs> what? She oh, was trying goodness. to drive and eat a taco from Taco Bell. So, yeah, I have this helpful whiteboard here. So, um, I said in the video, you have pitch. And pitch is sort of like this. I'm gonna draw pictures of it. So pitch is like the sound. You know, the sound that you make with your voice. Um, sound is, uh, you know, vibrations. So like this pitch right here is vibrating at 440 times per second. That's why it's called A440. Yeah, science. So if it vibrated faster, like maybe 880 times, per second, you would get this pitch. So that pitch is represented by this straight line right here in black. So I was saying vibrato, which kind of sounds like, oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe you can Not blend it in again. a little more. <laughs> but my throat's really sore today though, so that's probably the best I can do. But I was saying that it's kind of like this. If you were um, going right above and right below the pitch instead of having a straight it's tone like a when different. you sing the pitch. So it sounds sort of wavy. Ah, instead of ah, where it's just straight, which just singing with a straight tone, I think it's cut in half. just singing with a straight tone can um, have a shouty, hard sound sometimes. And in pop um, and rock and musical theater, that straight tone sound can be really popular so it can be appropriate for certain genres it but in classical music you know it's kind of a big no-no to sing with straight tone <laughs> so you should be able to have vibrato if you want to right now ron robin says if you listen closely slow it down or watch the waveform you'll see how most popular vibratos only relax downward from the main pitch and this is also how wind instrument players achieve it they are not going upwards oh my and so um i said it's like you're going right below and right above the pitch that's what he the decided is. to get all sciencey is he a teacher I don't know. We should check out his page. I did. He has a great page. You should check it out. He has <laughs> Japanese pop music on it. Oh! Well. Yeah. So he was saying, you know, you start here and you, your vibrato should fall down. So it's more like this. Does that make sense to you? Um, From the picture? Kind of, I guess. <laughs> so I, I fall said a little below. the vibrato goes above and below the pitch. And he's saying it really just falls Maybe down there's two different the ways. Um, I mean, I heard it described by my professors the way I described it when I was in college. That's why I described it that way. <laughs> so hopefully that's a legitimate way to describe it. But I do think the way he is describing it is actually probably a little more accurate because you don't 
go way above the pitch. But anyways, either way, I thought when I was thinking through it in my mind, I was kind of picturing this picture. So I don't know if that would be helpful for people to see maybe. But um, he suggested this exercise where you um, alternate slowly, like you Aww. slow down the vibrato a ton, and then you can um, speed it up gradually from there, which is a really good exercise. And I've never done a video of it, so I thought we could do that today. So we can start here. And that's like what vibrato sounds like if you were to slow it down, like super duper slow. So if you can open to an ah vowel, ah, oh. tip of your tongue down against the roots of your lower teeth. Ah, uh huh. Teeth separated all the way around. Here we go. And if we had a metronome going, which we totally could. <laughs> oh, we should use my fancy metronome. Hold on. Yeah, the fancy. Fancy metronome. Except for it kind of um changes speed sometimes, so don't get alarmed if her. Um... No, it doesn't. It's a good metronome. Does it change speed sometimes? Okay. <laughs> don't be afraid of metronome. So. So that is at uh, 112 beats per minute. So we could speed it up to 160 beats per minute. And even faster. That's actually how I practiced um, when I was first trying to sing with vibrato. It was really hard for me to find my vibrato when I was first learning. And so then you can go even faster. Um, so I don't, I don't know. A lot of times I don't like doing that with people because I feel like it's more like contrived and artificial. I feel like if you can hear the sound is it in your mind. Is it more in high, like notes that you use uh, vibrato? Well, you can use vibrato on low pitches or high pitches, but... Might it it makes it easier to sing high pitches if you do use vibrato because, well, it gives more energy to the sound, so it's easier to get the high notes out. That's kind of a way to say it. So, um, but I, I think it's best if you can hear the sound you want in your mind and then just open your mouth and sing and let it come out. <laughs> it, it should be a feeling of setting your vibrato free and, like, letting it happen rather than this... Um, I'm trying to make it happen. It must sound like oh, 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 oh like this. Like your Santa. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I think it needs to sound nice and natural and free. Usually, if you just think about it over the course of a few weeks, it you can just develop it pretty easily. Um, that's my opinion. But man, that video got a lot of comments, and some of them were kind of a little bit on the rude side, in my humble opinion. Um, it's, it, it's really controversial. There's a lot of different views about what? it, so. Lots oh, of people, video. yeah, lots of people disagree with with my opinion about it, which is fine. But um, she has graduated for this stuff, people. So <laughs> don't be commenting unless you know well, no. what you're talking about. No, I mean their comments are good. It's oh. just you know there's different opinions about it. Um. So, anyways, let's try this pitch with some vibrato. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then this one. Oh. Uh-huh, and then this one. Uh, yeah, so if you listen to Kayla's voice, you can hear the little wiggly sound in there. I just, like, picture a wave going up. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's kind like, of what I did, just, too, like, to find it. just, like, follow the wave. Um, one of my teachers, uh, she, describes, she described it as spinning, and I like that idea, because it's, like, Aww. spinning away from you like a baseball. If you... If you pitch a baseball, I think it's supposed to be spinning as it goes in an arc away from you. So if you can picture your sound doing that. So let's try that. And we'll connect all three pitches on one breath this time. And then you could actually... 
use your imagination. Hold the baseball in your hand. Now, if you're a baseball pitcher, you could oh. throw your baseball. And then and shake your hand. <laughs> <laughs> don't, no. don't shake your hand. Just no. in your mind, picture the, the baseball flying oh. away from you in a beautiful rainbow-shaped arc, and the ball oh. is spinning. Like you can see those red stitches in the baseball spinning away from you. Okay. Here we go. Jaw fall open. Oh, that was not a very Hello. good baseball throw. Hello, that's not very good. You've got to like get into it, get into your baseball mode. Here we go. Good, keep going by yourself. Hitting the ceiling, ah, a little like that. Ah, <laughs> yeah. So I'm an opera singer. If you could find a little bit of your head voice Thank to you. mix in to that sound Hello. with your vibrato, it'll make it sound more beautiful. Here we go. Ready? Ah. Oh, oh, that sounded really nice. Yes. <laughs> Can you do it again? Here we go. chest voice anymore but you're not quite in your head voice either it's called the passaggio Hello. it's like the passage way Hello. It's like it's from tricky. chest to head voice so you've got to mix the head and chest voice together that's kind of tricky to do yeah and so. like all in one breath yeah uh. yeah it's kind of hard so let's try again and see if you can find a little more lightness Wait, can I hear the a little more of the head voice sound okay. and oh that's not why I stopped the thing I was gonna say oh. a thing that can help with singing those higher pitches is as you're going higher, lift up your soft palate. Do you remember how to do that? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, like you're yawning, <gasps> lift up your soft palate in the back Hello. of your mouth. Uh, ah. Ah. So your jaw is down in front ah. and your soft palate is up and back and your soft tongue is down. Soft palate. Ah. Hello. Mm -hmm. that That's sounds what we great. do in choir. <laughs> starting again. Okay, I didn't know it. Hear, hear it in your head before you start. Breathe into your tummy. Exercise is descending. Yeah, so we're kind of oh, going up and down at the same time. That's in a way. Yeah, well, that's sounding really good. Oh, for, <laughs> yeah, have we done any vibrato before? I can't remember. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't like really think we have. Lesson. No, so that 
is really good, and we'll work more on it next time. It's just kind of like, uh, I think vibrato, again, this is my opinion. There's a skill. Maybe other, <laughs> other people with different opinions about it, but I, it's not really like, for most people, like turning on a light switch that just happens. It's more like building a wall of bricks layer by layer. So you work a little bit on it today, and then we'll hit it again and hit it again week after week, and it gets better and better and more solid. So. Solid, but we're so not solid, solid because we're not like this. We're like this <laughs> because well, we're doing vibrato. So we're not like this. We're like this. That's true. We are not solid. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you should probably teach this lesson instead of me. So, at home voice lesson, vibrato. <laughs> thumbs up for Kayla. Do it in your bedroom. And thumbs up for vibrato. Vibrato. Thumbs Hopefully, up. this video <laughs> is helpful and not confusing. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye.